How important is hunting to conservation and successful wildlife management? In a word, crucial. By definition, wildlife management is the science of managing wildlife and its habitat, or food, water, shelter, and space for the benefit of soil, vegetation, and animals, humans included. Wildlife managers seek to maintain healthy animal populations at their optimal carrying capacity, or in other words, so there are not too many or too few animals in relation to the habitat around them. If there are too many, wildlife may eat too much of the vegetation that makes up its food and cover, which leads to less habitat and dwindling numbers due to starvation, disease, and other issues. Hunting is the key tool used by managers to reduce excess wildlife numbers. It is strictly regulated with detailed laws according to species, sex of species, location, time of year, and other factors, including harvest quotas, to keep populations at their ideal carrying capacity. For example, if elk populations are above objective in a particular region, wildlife managers may increase the number of cow permits, bull permits, or both cow and bull permits available to hunters. That allows hunters to take more elk off the landscape for the benefit of the overall population and the surrounding habitat. In addition to prey, wildlife managers also manage predators. If a certain area is particularly saturated with mountain lions, wolves, and bears, and those predators have a detrimental impact on ungulate numbers, prey on livestock, or are a danger to a community, wildlife managers may issue additional predator permits. These actions take place in accordance with the North American Wildlife Conservation Model, which ensures that all wildlife populations are managed for their overall health and benefit. Hunting is also key to wildlife management because the agencies that oversee wildlife populations are funded in large part by hunters. According to the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies, sportsman-generated funds comprise, on average, more than 75% of a state fish and wildlife agency's annual budget. Those hunter dollars provide agency biologists and staffers with the funding needed to conduct wildlife research oversee game and non-game species, including small animals, birds, and fish, carry out management activities benefiting plants and animals alike, enforce wildlife laws, and conduct other day-to-day -day activity. Theodore Roosevelt, our nation's 26th president, founder of the National Wildlife Refuge System, and a hunter himself said, in a civilized and cultivated country, wild animals only continue to exist at all when preserved by sportsmen. When you size it up and look at the big picture, it clearly shows that hunting is conservation.